Hello, it's Tom again. Today's video is about uh, dealing with uh, out of control and invasive plants. In this case, we're talking about lilies of the valley. For some reason, they're sold in nurseries and people make gardens out of them. And the previous owners of this house did. And somehow that garden in the front grew out of control and now it's in my backyard. Now, my go-to to kill off an area of invasive plants is to put down a tarp. Basically, I put down newspaper, then mulch, then a tarp. Let it bake for a month or two. That kills everything. Unfortunately, these things have roots that uh, extend out underground. They put out more lilies that way. And I did not put out enough tarp clearly. Now, while they were still sprouting, I went over them with Roundup. I don't like using toxins like that, but you gotta get this stuff under control and you gotta do it aggressively. As you can see, the Roundup did a number on the grass, but the lilies went from being sprouts to fully grown, so the Roundup didn't do nothing to them. So then I went aggressive. This is a mix of a few handfuls of rock salt, half a gallon of vinegar, and a little bit of dish soap in this case dawn because i know it's safe to use that in this mix and this dish soap turns it into a surfactant or creates a surfactant so that um, the dissolved salt and the acidic vinegar will spread out evenly now i sprayed these lilies yesterday with this and you can already see they're turning brown. You can see the white flecks. That's the dissolved rock salt having reformed back into salt. So you've got a highly acidic mixture that evenly coats the leaves of the plant. You can see the salt deposits on the leaves. You can see where they're turning brown. They're curling over. They're drying out. This works out well because it doesn't poison the hell out of everything around. You're not poisoning the roots. You're not trashing the soil it'll rec what damage you do to the soil from the acidity and salt will recover fairly quickly maybe a week or two after uh the first uh heavy rain you're ready to replant and that's kind of what we got to do uh, so you take your sprayer clearly label your sprayer so you don't accidentally mix one pesticide with another or mix cleaning agents with uh, another toxic chemical you know I'm not a scientist but I do know that certain things mixed chemically creates dangerous dangerous gases or other poisons so you know label them do not mix like I would not use this uh, sprayer to put Roundup in I've got a completely different clearly labeled sprayer for Roundup now, again, I don't like using toxins. I don't even like using my uh, sprayer full of rock salt and vinegar. But we got an invasive species, and that's how you do it. Um, there's another one over here coming up. I've been dealing with uh, ferns sprouting up in my yard. Mostly they've been under control. I think this might be the last of them. And... It's going to get a good dose of rock salt and vinegar in a second. And that'll give you a little bit of a demonstration of how this works. But you see I've got this set on a wide cone. And I just evenly spray it so all the leaves get coated. I'll kill this little bastard off and it'll dry out over the next week and a half 10 day forecast says almost zero rain the first five days there'll definitely be no rain and that's how you get rid of the really really difficult leafy uh things again you're not spraying the roots you're spraying the plant itself and covering all of the leaves with your acidic acidic salty mixture Bye.